Welcome to English Lessons with Lingua Vancouver. My name is Jacob. And today I would like to talk about listening. Now, I've made a few of these videos now and uh, some of you have been watching them. Some of my students have been commenting and sending me messages. But a few people have asked me, why do I speak so fast? Why do I speak in a way that most English students cannot understand? But suddenly, right now, all of you can understand me. Why? Because I am enunciating my words. That means I am formulating, shaping, forming every word that I pronounce with my lips. Enunciation is the process of forming every sound clearly with your mouth. That way, the audience can read your lips as well as listen to what you are saying. Also, as you just saw, I explained the word enunciate clearly, which means I only use words that the students can understand. If I use a difficult word that the student doesn't understand, then I explain it. This is a normal way of an English teacher addressing his or her class. An English teacher trying to be as clear as possible speaking as clearly as possible. But this cannot be. If we always speak slowly, then the students will never improve. That is why you must get used to the natural way that we speak, like my other videos. So those of you who have good listening, you may get bored with this video. Those of you who find my other videos too difficult will find this one helpful. The main point is that you must learn how to understand naturally spoken English. I know many people say watch movies, watch YouTube, but you get frustrated. You watch them, you don't understand. So, you turn on the subtitles. Then it becomes a reading exercise, not a listening exercise. So, if you want to actually practice listening, I recommend a system where you can accelerate this process, make it faster, improve your listening faster. Find a show that you like, not a long show, maybe 20 minutes or less. A sitcom that you like, How I Met Your Mother, Friends, Simpsons, Family Guy, Curb Your Enthusiasm, depending on your age, depending on your taste, find one you enjoy. It doesn't matter which show, it just can't be too long. You watch an episode without subtitles, for 20 minutes, you sit there and just observe and see how much you miss. Then you immediately watch a second time, this time with subtitles, remote control, and dictionary. You dissect the show. You go through it in detail. Find what you missed. Find what sounds you're missing. When you are watching with subtitles, make sure that you do not read the subtitles. You let the actors in the show, read it for you. You wait for them to start speaking and read the subtitles at the bottom of the screen for you. You do not read. That way, you match the correct pronunciation with the writing below. Then, after you've done that, identify the words you don't understand and you will quickly see. One problem is not hearing the sound. But the bigger problem is vocabulary. You don't know enough words. Your lexical resource. The amount of words that you know. The amount of words and phrases and expressions that you can understand. That's a major impediment. That's a major block. That's a major thing holding you back. So, when you realize that, you look those up in the dictionary, you get familiarized with the sounds, you take a break, maybe the next day, you watch the same episode, the same show, one more time, a third time, this time with no subtitles. And then you will see how much better you understand it. I will promise that if you do this process, 
over a period of four weeks for several episodes, you will soon find yourself that you, you will soon find yourself. Please repeat this again, delete this little part and then add this properly. You will soon find yourself only needing to watch one video. And there will not be a need for you to watch it a second or third time. And then you will see that you don't really need subtitles all the time. But you have to always consider the context. If you're watching a TV show about everyday life, soon you shouldn't need subtitles. But watching something very difficult, something academic, something where you anticipate, you know in advance, will have many, many new words, many, many new expressions, then maybe it is best to watch it with subtitles. So for example, action movie, Transformers, maybe no subtitles. Lincoln, a movie about a great president, a master of rhetoric, most of the dialogue from the original text, maybe with subtitles. So you need to pick and choose. But remember, it's not a reading activity. Even with subtitles, it's still a listening activity. So you, le you let those actors read it for you. Improve your listening, and only then your English will improve properly at an acceptable rate. As long as you cannot hear a language, you cannot speak the language. I repeat that one more time. If you cannot hear it, you cannot speak it. So unless you fix your listening, you're gonna have problems with English. I wish you the best of luck. And everybody else, it's the last time I'm gonna talk like this. It was just the one video I wanted to do with the ESL voice, ESL English teacher voice. Because I genuinely believe that the best thing to do for a student is to provide an authentic English learning environment where they're exposed to natural language, natural expressions, and learn the language in a genuine fashion. I wish you the best.